Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Genshin, where we have Zhongli talking and... Oh my gosh, Zhongli, please. Uh, but we're doing some cats today. We're doing Feline Fortress for Desi. Ferdesi. Ferdesi? That's probably more like it, but yeah. That's what we're doing today. So, bro, I'm literally walking around and he's still talking about Osmanthus wine. What is going on here? I think I broke Zhongli, honestly. Anyway, anyway, we're going to go do a cat event today. It's just me today, so... <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be fun. It's probably not going to be very long, because what I looked up doesn't look like it's very long. And I waited till this event was completable, because I was looking in the notices, and it's like, oh, yeah, each... Uh... Yeah, that's loud. I'm kind of loud, honestly. From the first day of the event, a new stage will unlock every day. A total of five stages will be unlocked. So... One on the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 12th is which I'm, where I'm recording this. Should be the final day. And what I looked up kind of supports that fact. So, yeah. Oh, shoot. I guess Monstat was locked off. Really? She looks like everyone else to me. I mean... I see so many NPCs who look just like her. I mean, literally that girl in green looks just like her too, I think, right? I don't know. I think she's also here to play with some cats. I think she's also here to play with some cards. Cats, obviously. Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. That doesn't solve our biggest problem, though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. You're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors, they've appeared already. Uh, saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. <laughs> Sounds like a title we'll have to live up to. I smell a commission coming. Dude, we already did all our commissions today. At least, at least I did anyway. I don't know about you guys, but I did all mine before starting this. So, yes. I'll try to keep it short. My name is Valerina. And I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine, or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures, they've all been settled. The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep swatting at me. They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. That's unusual. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Huh. The kind hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Nah. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. 
to enlist the help of the honorary knight and their trusty helper in white. He gave us one we piece. Had just <laughs> our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. We were just talking about playing with cats. I mean, were we? Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Hmm. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. Let's go, Furball Fortress coming right up. Wait, it's over there? I thought it was in the cat's tail. <coughs> Alright. Here we go. It's the fortress. I'm so ready to do this thing. See what kind of cats are awaiting us. Whoa. Oh, it's just a regular house. Uh, gotta say, Pino was expecting something a little bigger fortress in the name and everything this was the biggest space i could find in the city over the past few weeks the rent is cheap so that's a plus yeah yeah i know i bet worth of rent along with all the cat's tail inspired furnishings only cost me a few million mora of course not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely we plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption as long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. How much does this rent cost in Genshin? Good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us! Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Tofu would also be a good fit. Pudding isn't a bad choice either. Eh, Snowball's fine. Ow. Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler. But Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Here, kitty kitty. That's a Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. It, it's been, what, a minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Ah, uh, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though. You gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. These poor creatures, picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Hmm. 
Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria. Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Did Rosaria just smile? I didn't see it. I saw it too. We should pretend like we didn't see anything. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem, just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So, the more I can learn at this stage, the better. <coughs> uh, true, I guess? Uh, let's see. Three attributes in this event. Comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. Wow. Okay. I mean, sure. Yeah, I kind of the furnishing primary. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna go into this blind like I always do. Let's freaking do it. Alright, let's, uh, put... Dang, man. How do you know what combinations to use? Wait, did getting rid of one of these, like, get rid of my comfort level? Oh. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what the combination I should be using is, but... We clearly got aesthetics correct. Oh my, okay. Do I only need one? Hey, but the current setup does not meet all requirements. Oh. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yo, there we go. Okay, that's the one. Automatically exit in one second. Hey, with the cat after feeding it. I'll use chicken since I have a bunch of that. All right, hi there. How's it going? Let's play. You can select a cat from the throne of Meow or, or directly invite a cat to come and play. The cat's friendship levels are as follows: trusted, cherished, and inseparable. Eight total points. Pet the cat. Are the right ear? Oh my gosh! You can pet the cat. Let's go. Press in order to pet the cat. If you pet the cat, you're gonna win. I want to make a mistake here. Oh no, I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, there we go. There we go. This cat loves me. Okay, can I touch your tail? Oh, okay, that's a no. 40 points, baby. Let's go. I'm like the cat whisperer here. Meow. 20 more points. 20 more points. Zero points. Lame. 10. Reach the cherished friendship level with the cat. You may claim the rewards now. I mean, what? Oh, I can touch your paws too? Okay. <coughs> yeah, I'm touching your paws and you, you can't do anything to stop me. Come on. Let's get to inseparable, man. Let's We're almost there. Can I touch your other paw? Oh. Friendship levels reach inseparable. Now what? Do we just leave? Beautiful session was spent with the cat. Oh, hi, Mona? Where, where, where'd you come from? 
Why are you here? Just like, I'm, I'm here all of a sudden. Like, yeah, what's up, man? Uh, Cherish friendship level to obtain. Snowball to obtain. So get 40 primo gems. Oh. Inner furnishing snowballs warm. Little den completely. All right, so. <coughs> All we need to do is just do Cherish. Doesn't sound that complicated. All right, Mona, why are you here? Where do you want to? Oh wait, it's not voice acted. Meow. Okay. Kind of weird. Try roaring at it like Rar. Yeah, just say Rar. It'll be fine. Ah Excuse me. Oh boy. All right, well, Mona, I thought you were going to be voice acted, but since you're not voice acted, just get out of here, please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're, you're good. You're good. The only reason I'm even recording this event in the first place is because it's voice acted. I always record voice acted events, except for that one. There was one that I didn't because it was just like, what was the point? It was like five minutes of cutscenes, and that was it. This one has a little bit more. I think. I don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, there we go. We're perfect. Requirements meant will automatically exit in zero seconds. I can't figure it out. Do I? Will they give me hints? There's a lot of furniture combinations you could do, technically. You're not using current state. Why not? All right, let's, let's pet. Oh, it loves it. It absolutely loves it. It loves that too. Let's go. Alright, I'll just hit up all the sweet spots. <coughs> Is there any point of hitting inseparable? I feel like there isn't. Meow. <coughs> Okay, the cat loves it. Let's go. Meow. You reached Cherish friendship level with the cat. Thank you. Oh, you don't like the paws. Okay, alright. I gotcha. Uh, ears? Oh, you love the ears. Okay, the one cat didn't love the ears at all, but this one loves it. Please touch my ears more. Alright, we are so good. Zero points. Friendship levels reach inseparable. We are so epic, man. We're just so freaking epic. <coughs> Hi, Amber. Okay, we got... Lots of stuff to try and reach here. Okay, that's that... Do, 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 do. I don't even know what I am doing. How do you get to the durability? We gotta choose the right ones. Yes, we do. Yeah, that's the one. Let's go. Requirements met. All right, let's let's play. You're not sure when it happened, but a small smoky cloud of something. All right, let's do this. All right, that one loves its head being touched too. That's good. <coughs> and its stomach. That's good. Okay, don't like your back being touched. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, what about your paws? Okay, you love the paws and your stomach. Good to see, good to see. All right. Well, just go ahead and touch everything. Meow. Meow. <coughs> Meow. Meow. Alright, we got that one. And now we just gotta find out where the next touch point's at. And get ourselves to inseparable. There you go. Let's go. Uh, ears? Okay, not the ears. Tail? 
Dang, okay, you like your tail getting touched. That's good to know. <coughs> Alright, one more touch. Alright, friendship level is inseparable. Now go away. <laughs> Hi, Razor. How are you doing? Where is the next one? Uh... Details for Dopey, only a little home that balances comfiness, durability, that nice can satisfy its infinite curiosity and wonder is imagination. Crumble. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Okay, so it's in here. That's why I couldn't find it. All right. Uh, I think maybe. But up, 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 but up. Do, 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 do. Don't think we really want that, or do we? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. I don't even know. <coughs> I'm assuming it's that one just because I feel like that does go a little far. Uh. Yeah, that's comfiness. What about... There we go! That's how you do it! I'm gonna feed you chicken! I think I got plenty of meat. Otherwise, what would we be doing, right? Oh, you don't like your head being touched. Okay. Stomach is a yes. That's good to know. Probably, uh, tail? Tail is a yes. <coughs> I say stomach, but it's more like chest, really, but eh. Oh, come on. Don't be a critic. Alright, we'll just max out your, your chest and tail touches, I guess. There we go. What is that, like, confetti popping up over its head? That's kind of weird. Alright, let's go. Don't even know where else I'm going to touch. I guess I haven't done the ears yet, right? Alright, we are cherished. Let's go. You touch your ears now. Okay, good. You like, you like the ears. You like the ears. Both ears count separately, it seems, which that's good. <coughs> All right, uh... Okay, that's a neutral spot. That foot's a no. Where am I gonna find the face? I can't touch your face. Oh wait, I can touch your ch tail again? Okay. Thought we were done touching the tail, but I guess it came back. Wait till eight o'clock to a 12 o'clock the next day. I haven't done the final one yet though. Okay. But yeah, obviously, I'm sure this one's a pretty short event, too. But, like, you know, I didn't skip out on an event with cats. And the whole reason I'm doing this in the first place is, like, 5 days, 14 hours remaining. And you want to know something? 11 days, 1 hour remaining. I would love to stream the, the my wishing session on, like, the last possible day that I can, you know. So, which means I would be missing the cat event. So I have to record this separately. Either that or I record my wishing session early, which that's not happening. Hi, Fischl. Didn't you notice you were there? <coughs> yeah, we don't want to do that, though. We want to make sure we're getting our maximum pulls for Nouvellet. Uh, the cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria. I'm scared. You should probably give him some space. Get too close and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Oh, no. Seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Looks like the shelter has a new stray. There's almost something almost dignified about him. Honorary knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things, all those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive, 
They can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. Leisure. You have to get used to it. Big ferocious cat. He, he understood all that? Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. Whoa, True. This cat is way bigger than the others. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed yew fruit juice. And he's wearing a skirt too. Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius. He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pantalot? You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pantalot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. You're getting much better with them, Rosaria. Hopefully you're finding this gig a bit too more fun, too. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pantalot completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be. What are we doing now? <coughs> are we done? 100%? Oh, we got one more. I don't know what I was saying. Alright, let's go decorate. Let's do this. We're decorating for the king of all cats now. Uh... Oh, that's so close, man. That is so dang close. One of these has to be it, right? No? Yo, oh, there we go. All right. Okay, we find that pretty quickly. Let's go. Okay, with the cat are feeding it. Let's do it. Sir Pantalot relaxes slightly and lets out a gentle meow. <coughs> Let's play. Pat your head. Okay, that was a cute meow. <laughs> Okay, you don't like your tail touched either. Gotcha. Uh, uh ears? So the ears are a yes. Uh, chest? No. Back is a yes. So ears and back. What about the paws? Alright, that works. Let's go. Let me touch your paws. <coughs> Kaboom. Gotta score all the points. There you go. Alright. 20 more points. 10 more points. There you go. Then I gotta touch your ears soon. Alright. Back, back, ears. I love my ears being touched. Thank you so much, Master. All right, let's go. Go to the Furball Fortress. Ah, yeah, we're not there yet. We need to go over there. Better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Don't go causing trouble now. <laughs> I'm a nosier, sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head and pinch his little cheeks. He does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Hmm. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. The traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Huh? Oh, it's the Traveler, Paimon, and Sister Rosaria. Uh, 
And you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite a liking to you. Great to see you. Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason. C Maybe. Captain? He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius? An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. Give me that albedo as a ride to investigate her business. Ballerina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Ballerina appears intimidated by the identity of the visitor, unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle such inspections. There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Not too long ago, Interim Team Feline Treatment Case Number 3, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team, and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. So he actually belongs to the investigation team? That would explain the Knights of Favonius symbol? You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official-sounding titles you added to his name? Interim treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested whopper flower nectar. Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Triple? Even regular-sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, pine on bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. We all thought it was quite fitting. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Whoa, Neat. Clap, clap, clap. Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. 
The knights on my team would never have imagined he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then... I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? Well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit after all. Any night he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. And bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way, he can slowly recover in peace. Hmm. We could set up a nice, cozy little home for him in the Serena Teapot. That's everything he could want. And most importantly, no monsters. I'll just keep him in storage. <laughs> I don't even decorate my teapot, so he'll just stay in storage. Welcome to the family, Sir Pouncelot. Awesome. You got a new home now, Sir Pouncelot. My storage box. No need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. <laughs> that was so touching! I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment! I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption! Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start, and you were the one that helped Sir Pouncelot calm down back there. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just... there. Ah, I've got it! I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a cat whisperer too one day. For now, though, I'll settle for cat whisperer. In training. <laughs> when I open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt. Mmm, the sister and the whisperer working together. Almost sounds like it was meant to be. <laughs> oh, well, this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose... I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry. There's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you. Let's go. The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful. When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony. We'll cut the ribbon together. Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission. Rewarding in more ways than one. Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend, Sir Pouncelot. Talk about a win-win-win. Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good! Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes next time. I mean, will this place even be open still after the event is over? Probably not. 
So it'll probably just become a random building again that just doesn't do anything, and I don't know. Maybe we'll get a follow-up sequel quest of this in the future. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but that should be everything, I think. Uh, event details. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta claim all those challenge rewards still. Oh, yes. All those delicious primo gems. And everything is complete. We're all good. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. And no active quest. No story quest. No hangouts. Everything is just all done. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's like, finally, man. Jeez. We're good to go. And of course... I don't know when I'm uploading this. I might upload this tomorrow, maybe. But... So what would that be? Tomorrow would be the 13th. So yeah, if I upload this on the 13th, that means in about 9 to 10 days, I should be doing a stream for Nuvolet Wishing, which is going to be fun. 15,000 Primo Gems, 13 Fates. I uh, got a lot of standard Fates, too, that'll get us some Star Glitter and Junk and... <coughs> Hopefully it'll be nice. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully get some good stuff out of it. I do have guarantee. Although my pity is a little bit low, I think. Uh, and I could check that, I suppose. Pity's not super... Not as high, but it's also not low either. It's like... Yeah, what, about 15, I think that was? That wasn't too much. Like, yeah, 5 per page. So yeah, it looks like about 15. I got a Chi Chi as my last one. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long to get a Nuvolet. I'm hoping to get like a C1 Nuvolet. That would be certainly ideal. Heck, if I could get even higher than that, that would be even more ideal. Like, wow, like ooh, we got more. Because I want a C6 Nuvolet. I want to get not just one. I want to get two. I want to get three. I want to get seven copies of Nuvolet to C6 them. Obviously, I'm not going to C6 them without some insane luck, but... Um, you know, it is what it is. That's probably what we're going to do, though. I would like to get a C2 Kazuha at some point, too, because mine's currently C1. But, you know, that'll, <coughs> that'll come in due time. That'll come in due time. And I probably also want to do a YOLO on the weapon banner, too, because, I mean, Freedom Swarm would be nice. Nuvolet weapon would be nice. I like to hope I could pull one of those and get lucky, but you know, uh, when my last wish was literally engulfing lightning, uh, again, we got to get lucky with that one. All my weapon pulls have been in the 60s, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, everyone, that's the end of the cat event. Next time you see Genshin content will be the Nuvolet pulling stream. I don't know if there will be any event stuff going on or or what, or if it's just going to be like a really short wishing stream i don't know honestly i don't know but we'll see when that day comes roughly 10 days from this recording uh again when is this actually 11 days 11 days from now would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i would be working on the 23rd so yeah 22nd would be the day I do the wishing stream then because since I work on the 23rd, I wouldn't be able to do the wishing stream from work, obviously. So, yeah, I would do it on the 22nd. That would be when we do it. So, yeah, it'll be fun. Anyway, everyone, you all have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time for whatever piece of content you choose to enjoy. See you later. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. You've reached the end of this video. But before we go for the day, i just like to give a quick shout out to the Tier 4 and above channel members. Phoenix Edgeworth, Akron X2, Gamer Mario 64 JelloCat, Dev, and T. Thank you all for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you two would also like to get shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all Tier 4, 5, and 6 channel members. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time!